Here we have Coco Boo and Fluffy Woo. Coco's the um, grey bunny rabbit and Fluffy's the white and brown bunny. And as you can see, they're munching away there. They love Japanese knotweed. It's very good for them because it's got transresveratrol properties in it. I'll show you some information in a minute. There you are. A good old munch on that. Hi guys, it's Sharon J. Bainbridge here from Butterfly Lullaby and today is the 8th of August 2017 and I want to talk about Japanese knotweed for rabbits. I've seen some articles saying that you can't feed Japanese knotweed to rabbits and this is um, crazy really because our rabbits um, love this stuff and they've been eating it for years. So here's... Um, Coco Boo and her baby bunnies. Just want to show you a little video my daughter created. So there's a little baby bunnies. Um, they're now older now. now. This was made a few years ago. Let's see. When was this? 2015. Oh, they're so cute, look. I'll put this on my blog anyway so you guys can see it. But I'm going to show you a video of um, Fluffy and... Coco Boo eating Japanese knotweed in a minute but you know there's some other videos on here that my daughter so it's Melody um, Art so she's got other videos on here of her bunny rabbits so she's got here um, memories of my rabbit Cindy Boo this is quite sad this one here little Cindy it's actually a boy. We called it um, Cindy because Melody wanted a girl rabbit. Um, I'll just turn the volume off this a minute and I'll play it for you. But we used to let Cindy roam around in the garden free and also Coco Boo. And as you can see there, Cindy's loving the garden with the dandelions. Unfortunately, we had a neighbour um, opposite us who was actually shooting wild birds um, I couldn't understand why there was all these dead birds in our garden and our neighbour also um, was concerned about it and he was actually fixing um, a roof on a building he was building outside in the garden for his wife he actually heard a shot from a pellet gun and he saw a bird, a wild bird, fall from the trees onto the ground. And he told me about this because he was concerned about um, my daughter and her friend playing in the back garden, because they used to play in the back garden, making mud pies, etc. when they were younger. So I called the police and um, gave a statement, and my neighbour um, gave a statement as well. And thankfully it stopped from complaining because they investigated, the police were very good actually, I have to give them credit there, they were very good, they went round to the houses and they um, questioned people and it must have scared them and uh, it didn't happen again, we haven't seen any more dead birds in the back garden. But the strange thing is, is that um, what actually happened was my neighbours told me that there was also a cat that got shot by a pellet gun. Now Cindy, um, a couple of years ago, Cindy and Coco Boo were at the garden. We went out to have some food, came back to put them away, and only Coco Boo was sitting outside. Cindy was nowhere to be seen, and that's very unusual for Cindy because Cindy always came home. Cindy was one of those little pet rabbits that absolutely adored us, you know. She adored Melody, she really loved Melody. 
and uh, Melody used to create, we used to create little um, videos, little Snowflake and Cindy Woo videos, art videos with Melody and her rabbit. So, and she used to run around in the kitchen. When you had more than one rabbit, um, you couldn't let them both run around in the kitchen. It was just too <laughs> hazardous, but Cindy used to run around and she used to, you know, um, go around my legs and chew at my nighty and say, come on go and get me some food so she was very very sweet well he was very very sweet so um yeah that's the story of that but um with regards to nutrition for rabbits I think it's the same as people well it is, it is obviously the same you know you, you can buy these um rabbit pellets but they're not necessarily the best thing for them if you watch uh Christmas Bunny which is a film by oh Tom Seedman, fantastic film. It actually states that you know you really the the main food should be hay, and you know wild foods really that's what they need like wild dandelion leaves and dandelions heads and uh, plantain from the garden, grass. Um, what else is this? Sticky Willy, I think it's called. Um, you know, that plant that if you throw it, it sticks to you. You know, there's all different wild plants that they eat that we don't actually know about. You know, they've got more nutrition than anything you can buy in the shops. I mean, I do give our rabbits carrots, a treat of a banana, organic banana. They get organic carrots. Um, what else do they get? They, um, I give them broccoli as well um, or you know greens you know greens are the most healthiest thing you can get as Dr Michael Greger says now if you think about it in this way Dr Michael Greger um, advises us to eat greens so you know that's what we should be feeding our rabbits more and more greens so without further ado I'm going to show you the video of the uh, rabbits eating Japanese knotweed here we have Coco Boo and Fluffy Woo. Coco's the um, grey bunny rabbit and Fluffy's the white and brown bunny. And as you can see, they're munching away there. They love Japanese knotweed. It's very good for them because it's got transresveratrol properties in it. I'll show you some information in a minute. There you are. A good old munch on that. In this book, Invasive Plant Medicine by Timothy Scott, you see he also mentions Stephen Buhner, who I believe first found out that Japanese not retreated Lyme disease. But inside this book, it actually mentions that Japanese not has got four patents. If you turn to page 225, you'll see the scientific studies and that the um, Japanese knotweed has the French paradox, resveratrol, and that's found in red wine. But the best uh, resveratrol you can get is transresveratrol, which is found in Japanese knotweed. And this plant is worthy of at least four patents, it states in this book. But I've actually found more than four patents on the internet, and I'd like to find more of your help. So, um, as I mentioned, it's got transresveratrol, which is fantastic. So this plant, we need to tell people about this plant. Um, there's also an article on my blog from a scientist questioning all the bad press about this plant, because it's a worthy plant. Japanese knotweed nutrition. You know, this plant's been used by the Chinese for hundreds of years, yet in the Western world, we don't hear about it hardly. And this is really interesting, a new scientist magazine reader bucks the trend. Basically, Ruth Burrows um, is telling us that Japanese knotweed is not all that bad, as we're told. Um, and she's concerned about it. And she's just writing here about all the good things about Japanese knotweed. So, you know, why is it that Science needs to be speaking out more and getting into the papers, but it's not getting to the papers because the papers don't want to hear this. The papers 
and making too much money out of destroying this plant. But Here's Melody. They love also, I forgot to, I also forgot to mention that rabbits love apple twigs. So, you know, this is from our apple tree. They love them. They love to eat the branches and nibble on the leaves. And that's um, Legolas, she's called Legolas, um, and also Pat, very cute little rabbits. I'm actually looking for some homes for them because my Lizzie is allergic to them. So that's all from me, Sharon J Bainbridge from Butterfly Lullaby. And I'd just like to say, um, please subscribe. Um, leave comments, share videos of me and any information you think would be of interest. I'd love to hear from you. So, you know, don't be frightened to share links and videos, etc. And uh, here's this little video there of um, the bundle. We had to make a little pen outside in the end for the rabbits, which is quite sad, really, that they can't run free. But, you know, Melody is scared that they're going to get shot. So we've had to make, like, a little rabbit run for them. But, um, yeah, so that's all really, and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Okay, bye-bye. We're actually looking for some homes for the bunny rabbits. So if you live in Wales, in the Swansea area, drop us a note. Um, you know, we'd love to hear from you. We've got about six rabbits we'd love to find homes for. So um, if you think you could give them a good home, please drop us a line.